I can see. Yep, I can see. Time to roll. 218 northbound. BWCA 2018 starting at 218. Fitting. <laughs> Let's go. Never feed wildlife. They're pretty good at finding their own meals. Plus, their natural foods are better for them anyway. If you plan to go fishing, consider doing catch and release. Or take only what you can They'll eat. find your food. <laughs> Just, Just fine. And make sure you Here we are. Got, are you rolling, buddy? We are rolling. All right, so. Out on the water. Yep. Now it's time for our shot. Here we go. What, what do we say? Well, BWCA 2018. 2018. Good luck. <laughs> no, 2017 was good luck. <laughs> and we did have good luck. <laughs> We did, we did. 2018 is uh, fast and furious, how's that? <laughs> to uh, my good friend Mark, our families for introducing us to these great boundary waters yep. and to the tradition we've carried on for many years. Uh, here's to another outstanding trip. Here, here. Let's go get them. God, this feels good. Open it. Feel that. Feel the the schedule, right? Just kind of melting away. First portage of the trip. We each got packs on. We're doing uh, portage I-35 here. It's supposed to leave no trace, but we're already finding garbage. Two big hunks of plastic, so. We try to do our part, don't we, Mark? What's that? Picking up other people's trash along the way. Oh yeah, no trace. So we'll take the packs first, go back and uh, I'll take the canoe first portage, Mark will take it second, we'll be home. And all we have, aside from that, is the uh, dry sack and the small backpack. Enjoy. Back in the canoe here after the I-35 portage, heading through Skippy Lake, we'll call it. <laughs> uh, busy. We call it I-35 because it's busy every time. And sure enough, we had uh, seven. Yeah. Seven people, a little gust of wind picking up here, but uh, seven people and there's two more coming off to my left right now. So just like last year, we have a lot of people coming out as we're heading in, which uh, should bode well for us on our final destination. We'll keep plugging along, we're making good time. It's a gorgeous Saturday morning here on July 7th, 2018. Making good time here too. It's our last portage. Got the packs on now. Go back for the canoe. And we are on our final lake. Whew. So after a few portages, we are now in our destination lake. Um, tired. Base camp. Yep, we're gonna base camp it. Yep. So we're gonna try to look at some camp spots and see what ones might have the best fishing from shore in case it gets we get windbound or something. But oh boy, I'm getting old. Ah. ah. Those, those portages get longer and longer. I think part of it has to do with the fact that we've got two 80-pound packs. 
or close to it, I suppose, because they're heavier than the 70 pound canoe. But anyway, so we'll uh, we'll see you when we uh, start setting up camp. In a second. Yeah, in a second. Peace out. Things aren't looking good right now. Uh, we've stopped on every site on the lake and every one of them is occupied so far. We got two chances left. So we're heading back to a familiar spot. We're going to try something different, but hopefully one of our old standbys is available and we will have luck finding an open campsite there. Otherwise we're moving lakes. So our fingers are crossed. What are you seeing, Mark? Your fans are waiting. Here comes the butter throw. <laughs> Think we're good? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> we're home, baby. We made it, Marky. We did it. Record time, too, huh? I mean, we even toured the lake and still made it in less than two hours. Uh, yeah. We got camp set up. We're not quite cleaned yet. We like to keep it tidy, but uh, we got everything kind of organized. It just needs to be put back in bags. And um, But as you can see, uh, we're fairly well set up. We got... Uh, nice set of wood here that we just got done cutting that's what we're taking a break here taking getting some water got a little more uh chores some choring a little more choring to do yeah and uh and then just kind of clean up and then i think it's uh f and r <laughs> fishing and relaxing yeah. <laughs> stands for fishing there she goes well let's take the muffler off don't need that <laughs> just slows it down don't need the collar either. We'll put these in our trash. We need to get a trash. We don't, I've got all the garbage in my pocket that we've collected. Why don't you, uh, you're going to be in the tent alone tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, why don't you just hang just out? Leave in it in there. <laughs> well, and the funny thing is, all the trash, except this, is from other people that we found on oh, portages yeah, on the and on the campsites. Yeah. Everything is in my pocket. Leave it better than you found it. That's right. Leave no trace and. Mark so let's make these cocktails and uh, yeah. straighten up. Okay. It's a breezy day out here on the north end of Alpha Beta Lake. Are we revealing the name yet? Mark, for some reason, Mark doesn't want to reveal the name yet. Um, I'm sitting here waiting for my well, for one reason, knot okay. and bead so I can put on my slip bobber. Mark is digging through the tackle box. He's got it, he says. Uh, yeah, very breezy out here. He's saying it's the windiest day that we're uh, alleged to have this week. Uh, time, please. It is 1.13. 1.13. And we are going to have a wet line here within five minutes. We're just going to tie off and hook on some leeches. And it's bobber time. So He's a jumper, Marky. Okay, we got the first fish. Uh, this is a bass, just so we know and yeah, we're clear. He surfaced once already. Good jump. He's a good two feet in the air. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Fight it. Literally, Mark. Literally, my second cast. <laughs> yeah. He's oh, a he's big one. Good. He's got to be a big one, right? Not as big as my other one. Oh my goodness, that is a big. Surely. All right. Let's see that. Yeah, buddy. Look at that for the first one. That's that's fish. Hey. First I fish. Can measure it. All right. Good job. How 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 many inches is that? Yes. Uh, twenty-one. Seventeen. <laughs> I was so close. Seventeen. Here we go. Nice job, buddy. Woo! All right, so that's fish number one. Wrong species, right idea. Uh, yeah. Oh, is he 
he gonna jump? Looks like it's surfaced. Yeah. Another, another bass. Oh, hey, this is how we started out last year. A couple bass. Well, that's why we got two. Uh... I think it's the same one. <laughs> Are you cooling your drink down there? Yeah. Dude, hey, this ain't my first rodeo. This one's not. This one's not as big. Don't you dare. He is twelve. This one's only 44 inches. Hang on. All right, guys. Hopefully, we'll have some walleye tails later. There's my bobber just sitting there. Well, we could probably hear you, but you'll have to talk loud. How are you, how are you feeling so far? Good. Yep. How do you yeah. get raspberry lemonade? Yep. Stiff. Stiff southeast breeze. Well, I thought you were going to say stiff drink. Oh, yeah, probably that too. We got to hold on to our chairs. I'm sitting on mine. Um, Look. yeah. We got white caps. So we came to the island now. Uh, Mark got stuck, so we. Uh, the hot rock. Yeah, we're on the hot rock. Um, so we got her docked here. We're fishing on the north side. Mark's right out there. I'm out here. I haven't changed my depth. I've been fishing at eight feet bobber depth, and you're at what? No, you you, you short yours. He's down to eight too. So. Yeah. He's that shallow because he doesn't want to drag over a rock because of the wind and get hooked, which is what happened before. Mark's got a bobber down. He's got one. Ah! What's the matter? What do you mean? What's the matter? Yours would have eaten. Easy. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> oh, Mark. Should we measure him? Yes, buddy. Oh, he's a nice one, too. Yeah, it is. The mat? Get him up here. Was a little too much. <laughs> oh, I wanted to catch him. I wanted you to catch him too. Dude, that was like, it was at least 20. Oh, trapped. That was my favorite part of the trip. <laughs> hey, but that's how we roll. Now, granted, if this was May, I'm not doing that. If it was earlier in the day, you would have done I that. Tried to, I tried to jump in to kind of trap them in this area. Yeah, we, we have the whole thing on video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? It is still very breezy out. 
Mark's clothes are drying. He had to take his pants off for a while, so they're they're dry, but his shoes and socks are still soaked. But I made him put his uh, shoes back on because I don't want him stepping on any fish hooks. So we're gonna head right there, just north of where we're at. We're gonna get on the other side of that little island there. Out of the wind and see what we can find. Then we'll head back to our normal spot right there on the very north end of the lake. See what we find there. We just gotta get out of the wind a little bit. Normal? What do you mean? We've never been here. New lake. New lake. So, I'm just putting leeches back in the boat here. Uh, yeah, here we go. We're shoving off. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. God, we didn't have a stringer in the water to pull back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we didn't have kids battling. So we're doing night number one, brats, fried onions, sauteed, excuse me. Oh yeah, sauteed, nice yeah. You're a, um, there we go. you're a shop for sure. Teamwork. Oh. It's, uh, it's the... Uh, it's the walleye of the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is it Mark and Ryan are cooking Johnsonville brats. <laughs> Seven forty-five. Got done with dishes, dinner, cleaned up camp, mixed a uh, vodka lemonade. Mark made us a couple drinks. He used to be a bartender, you know. And uh, we're heading back to the hot rock here. Really pretty night, nice sunset. It's still really windy as you could probably tell. But we're gonna hit the twilight bite tonight. Mark's already been singing a little bit. Go ahead, sing a verse. catch some walleye tonight. They will hit the live well and will probably be a part of breakfast in the morning. We didn't uh, plan on a walleye dinner. That's why we brought the brats and onions. So even if we did catch any tonight. Oh, some big old bass just jumped in front of you there. Yeah. Mark's going to catch some more smallmouth tonight. I'm going to focus on the walleye. And, uh, I'm not gonna dump it. but we brought the chairs with, so we're actually going to go, uh, right on shore onto the hot rock, chill out there, not try to fight the wind. Th this wind with the anchor is manageable, but still difficult. So, yeah, you can only cast one direction, Mark says. So, we get three off the island. So, we will check back with, hopefully the next video you see in a moment here will be one of us reeling in a walleye. Right about now. As predicted, Ryan's got the hot head. Yes! We got our first walleye! <laughs> there we go, Mark! Nice! Look where I got him! Fun. Let's get a picture of that. Where is it? Upper lip. Nice. Yes. Good job, right? Thank you. Good eating size. Perfect eating size. Well, that looks actually, that walleye looks different. Than the, ba than the bass we caught? <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't look lighter. Yeah, you're right, actually. Yep. Let's, uh... All right, well, we're going to put this guy on the stringer and we're going to have to, whatever. 
Alright, dude, good job! Hey, woo! First walleye on the stringer. Look who's got the hot hand! What's going on? What's happening here on a Saturday night? What are we, Bizarro World? <laughs> Where Ryan's catching the fish? Oh, that's another nice one. Mark, you want to jump in? No. I'm filming. Dude, I'm filming. Do <laughs> you remember uh, the time I said, hey, get the net. Oh, I got the camera. Did you see how I kicked him safely ashore? Yeah, that is nice. Gosh. There we go. Hey, God, he has an owie. Yep. Where is it? Oh, it's in his upper lip. Why? I think that's where the hook was. There we go. That one's bigger. You think so? Yep. I bet you it's 60 right now. I think it's a different cl year class. You think it's a different year class than the one you caught? 17 and 3 quarters. So, no. I think you're lying about the three quarters, but whatever. Oh, can bring the tape over. All right, so we got dinner tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. I wish look, I'd look at that pose. I wish I'd worn a cleaner T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. All right. Okay, what do we got? Oh, my line's here. My line's here. Another one. Oh, that's bigger. That's eighteen. Guaranteed, that's eighteen. What do you think? Yep. That one's bigger. I'm going 19. You think it's 19? 18 and a half. 18 and a half? All right. Let's... So we put this new uh, tape on the thing so we can stop like talking out of our rear ends about how, oh, it's a 20 inch or... Uh, we have an actual tape measure. Oh, I need that. Can you have my Well, thing? measure them first. I'll okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Put, put his nose up there. Just past the 18. Nice. Can you get my uh, pictures? All right. I'm not going there. I felt it. What do we got? Oh. Same spot though, right? He's cute though. Oh yes, he's adorable. <laughs> Where'd you catch him? <laughs> it's up, it's up. Ready? Good. I think we're done, Mark. Yeah? Look at this shoe! Ah, oh, he spit it. Oh, did he? Ryan! That's my on. hooks. My hooks probably, remember how bent the hook was? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably straight now. Well, what's sad, Ryan? Well, I'm, I'm hooked on you too. What's sad is that we are um, we're catching 16-inch walleyes, and your hooks are looking like that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> right? That's sad. That's scary because we catch something bigger and we're gonna lose it. Right? Right? Well, yes. 16, that last one was 18. Whatever. But uh, I'll, we catch we'll take, I'm not I'm not changing hooks. I caught four fish in a row. Alright, well I'm not changing hooks. That's on you. Alright, peace out. We are heading back to camp after a nice haul. We had a fun night out here on the rock. The hot rock. She was hot tonight. We had uh, many bobbers down we got four walleye on the stringer so we're gonna go back now and uh put them in the live well but we gotta we gotta fight to get back because it's still really windy out <laughs> can hear me the wind is like howling we got a few fish 
Uh, we got a southeast wind. Steady all day. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Anyway, we'll catch you back. We're gonna put these uh, fish in the live well. See how that goes. We're gonna have a little campfire, a little cocktails. Oh, well, video Mark Paul jumping, falling, jumping in the water. <laughs> and uh, we're. Uh, I'm really tired. I'm sure Ryan is. We both are working off of uh, single digits. Three, two hours of sleep. So tomorrow hopefully will be a better day. I hear it's supposed to be storming all day. We'll see, I guess. If it's storming all day, uh, we probably won't check in a whole lot, but it'll be what it'll be. Then we got two days of awesome weather, I guess, and then we'll probably start exploring. But right now, we're just trying to, <laughs> in the low light, we're trying to find our place. Out here on the water. Out here on the water. Well, Mark, here we are, day two morning. Well, actually, it's now day two afternoon, if we hush for a moment. It's been raining since, you say, about 6 o'clock, 5.30, 6 o'clock this morning. So we really have not done too much today. Uh, had breakfast, kind of, well, last night before we went to bed, we tried to condense everything underneath the, the tarp here to keep it somewhat dry. So we've mainly succeeded at that. We have some dry wood yet, but we uh, did not get enough yesterday, which we actually talked about this morning. We, we, didn't, we didn't get enough yesterday to account for the next two days after, because we'll go through this today, likely. Yeah. So that's one one regret that we have is that we didn't uh and now everything will be wet right now everything yep. in the woods is wet and yep we're supposed to have two nice days after this so we'll see and then wednesday was kind of touch and go yep. so we'll see what that brings but we got four walleye yep in the live well so we have walleye dinner or lunch depending probably dinner probably dinner um, we had really good uh, oats and blueberries for breakfast, so that was good. Great coffee, the uh, the new coffee maker that Mark purchased, the Gravity Press. Is that what it's called? Well, I have no idea what it's called. We call it a great. You pour the hot water over it. And really good though. Better than what we've been doing. Yep. So we're just trying to stay dry for now. Although we're gonna uh, do some dishes up. Just got some hot water here and do up the uh, breakfast dishes uh, that have been just kind of sitting here waiting while the rain comes and goes. And then we're gonna say, f uh, sh forget it. <laughs> and uh, go out and, and fish. If it rains, it rains. Put our rain gear on and... Yep. Get out and do it, so. Otherwise it's just sitting here. So we'll check in uh, once we get back out on the rock. We got something on. <laughs> it's <Can't> ki <laughs> it's kind of your year for that, Mark. But hey, it's it's meat. We're not gonna eat it, but it is meat. It's got a pulse. How do you feel about that one? Had a couple of these reeled in today. What's this one? Wally. Got a Wally. Let's not have another tragedy. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, 
Looks like an upper lip. All right. Nice job. Woohoo! Up top. There we go. Cleaned a couple of the walleyes we caught yesterday. We went fishing, we caught some, I don't know, four or five smallmouth bass, small ones. You did. I didn't catch a thing. Oh, didn't you? Nope. And uh, probably a 17, 18 inch walleye. Nice walleye. We threw him back. We threw him back because we have those fish in the wall in the live well. They're not going to last all week, so we want to make sure we clean those up and eat them. So we're going to eat two of those fish. <clears throat> and Ryan did a wonderful job in filleting them. Thank you. We are using Shore Lunch Cajun. Shout out. Yeah. Which is you just drop the fillets in after you wash them. You put some of that in a Ziploc and you just shake and bake. Shake and bake. So look at that. Looks good. Yeah, smells good too. So then we take some um, vegetable oil. And a lot of people don't want to bring oil. They want to bake their stuff, whatever. We love... Deep fried. Deep fried, yep. <clears throat> so we bring two vegetable oils. And I'll probably use half of this on this fish. Yep. A lot of times we'll just use the whole thing when we eat more fish or if there's more of us or whatever, but right. um, I'm just conserving a little bit. Um, so we'll hit, heat it up in this saucepan and we'll boil it up and then we're gonna make some, boil it up, fry it up. We're gonna make some sour cream. And, Ooh, that's what you just added on? That yeah. looks fantastic. Yeah, so this is uh, just water, you know. Boiling water? Yep. Yep, there are some brands that have, add milk mm -hmm. and butter. Well, you can bring those um, if you want to bring butter or powdered milk and monkey with that, but we find these are just fine. So we're just going to have potatoes and fish. It sounds delicious. While Beautiful. you're doing that, I'm going to go over here and get some woodworking done. All right. Okay, let's get to work, huh? Out here on the water. Shore lunch. On Starks shore. And Phillips stuff. <laughs> That's how we roll, Mark. For those new to the uh, viewing audience, this is how we roll. We eat our shore lunch as often as we can on shore. Fresh fish. Right from the from the sea to the Searing oil. Cover that up. Woo. Here we go. Fish. First fish fry of the 2018, yep, 2018 trip. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Plenty hot. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Did you have some fish? Mm hmm Got some clouds coming in. Kind of been like this all day. Kind of looks like it's threatening rain, but not much happening. It was really windy earlier, as you saw, and it's turned out to be quite a decent night right now. Yeah, it's pretty out now. Um, the sunshine poking through. You know, just kind of, but it looks like, you know, it's starting to cool down. So I think we might get some rain here eventually. But Ryan and I were just talking, you know, sitting here on the, on the shore, on the shore and uh, just relaxing. And we haven't really done this. No, we don't do this anymore. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it's kind of nice. We spend almost every waking moment either prepping camp, eating, cooking or fishing. fishing. Anytime we're not doing something here, we're out fishing and we we haven't done this for many years now. Many, several, several years. Yeah. So it's kind of nice just to relax and listen to the, you know, we got some loons coming in, there's dragonflies all over helping keep the mosquitoes away. Yeah. And, and chipmunk this or, big uh, dragonfly helps. <laughs> yeah, that one does too, yeah. <laughs> Um, red squirrels yeah. chattering around us and yeah nature N enjoying the nature yeah nature you know 
Yeah, like this <laughs> floating jug we have on <laughs> Nature. Nature. Oh, well. Alive well. I think we're uh, going to have an early night tonight. We'll probably have a fire for just a little bit. Yeah, most of our wood is wet. I, uh, When Mark was making dinner, I cut up uh, all the wood that we cut yesterday uh, that we drugged back to camp. and We drugged it? We drugged it. Chloroform? We drug it. Yeah. We drag it. Dra drag, drag drugged? And, dragged it. <laughs> um, hauled. Yes, we hauled it back to camp. And it's funny how you see a tree that size in the woods and how big it looks, and you're like, oh, we're set. And then you saw it into, you know, foot long, 16 inch. Quarter it, get rid of it. Quarter it, and it's a small bundle of wood. <laughs> so. But as I was doing that, I was realizing it, it, it is still a little damp. We, I, before we went to bed last night, we covered it, but it still got a little bit damp. So I don't think we'll even get into that. We'll use what was uh, dry yesterday and uh, just some scraps that we picked up. So it'll be a kind of a quickie tonight. And then hopefully what we cut today will be good and dry tomorrow. And maybe we'll go out and find some more tomorrow for the rest of the week and we should be good. All right. Well, this might be a sign off for the evening. Mark's going to bed. Yeah, I am <laughs> tired. Out here on the water. Day two morning, right? Uh, no, traditionally that was when it was said in 2011 was uh, on, on day three. On day, day three. That is why we say day two morning on the correct day generally. Would now you? now we say it every day, no matter <laughs> the time of the day. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we just never want the trip to end. Because yeah. we're always hoping it's day two morning. So. We've been out here for about 15 minutes. We called 20, and so we're actually we haven't had a had a single bite yet. So we're gonna pack up and head to the south end of the lake, where we had a lot of luck last year in similar conditions. Gorgeous day, and we're expecting really nothing but this all day. As you look around to the south end of the lake, sunshine. Just a nice, nice enough breeze to keep us cool, Mark. Yep. We plan on catching fish today. We decided to uh, eat up our reserves, so we have nothing for meat in the tank. So we call that the pressure. The pressure's on. We're in the pressure cooker. Yep, pressure cooker now. Well, so, not really. I mean, if we had no food... <laughs> yeah, we have plenty of food, but as far as fish fries go, we have no fish left in the live well. So, we are going to catch some today, have ourselves a fish fry. We're also, for lunch, going to try one of Mark's homemade um, dehydrated meals. Yep, so beef that's and bean burrito. Beef and bean burrito, that'll be for lunch, but that'll be in a little while here. So, we're going to make a few more casts here on the Hot Rock. And then, uh, and then head south, see what we find down there. And uh, we got we got an entire day of just gorgeous weather, fishing. F and R. F, we're gonna F and and R and. <laughs> I didn't say that properly, but that's what we're gonna do. Out here, on the water. Soundly defeated here on the north end on the hot rock, although we. Had a pretty good hunch. It's not quite. Oh, there's a loon talking to us. It's not quite prime fishing time yet, so we thought we'd just give her a shot, cast a few bobbers out. We were there for, well, we said 20 minutes, might have been a little longer than that. Yeah. So now we're actually going to head to the south end where we've had some really good luck at this time of day. And uh, we're going to sit in the canoe this time, anchor cast out a little bit uh, if you recall 
on the 2017 video we started out with eight to ten foot bobber lengths and then mark had the epiphany and ah, i'm going to shorten up to about five six feet and we started nailing them and so we're gonna come down here and i think probably start at that depth don't you think mark yeah i think uh I think that'll be that'll be the plan so we'll get down here we'll give that a shot and uh see how she goes but either way there's a couple just wispy clouds in the sky it's just a stunner gorgeous day wind is coming out of the west northwest like my grandfather always used to say winds in the west fish in the best there we go have not caught a fish the most action we've had today is a smallmouth bass or something attacked my bobber as I was reeling it in. And that's about it. That might be a clue for us to like switch up to top water rigs and work the reeds and stuff like that, but I don't want to sit and catch bass all day. And we're pretty stubborn. We don't like to change much. <laughs> yeah, we don't like to do a whole lot of work. Um, so we'll, we'll find something that, that we like to do, and then we'll try to find different spots in the lake where, where it will work. So, and you know, up here it's hard to, you don't have a full tackle box, you don't have a trolling motor, you don't have depth finders, you don't, at least we don't. Anyway, uh, we'll just check back in a little bit out here on the water. Yeah, there we go though. We trolled the basin and we caught one. Mark has wanted to do this the last two years now and we did it and gal darn it he had a bite earlier I had a bite earlier and now we finally pulled one in that may was on some stick or something because it felt like <laughs> it's been a rough day out here it's been a wonderful day but fishing wise tough 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 but we have lost a few leeches here so I think they're out there this Deep in conversation, reminiscing a little bit, fighting over spreadsheets. <laughs> I wouldn't call it fighting. Well, you, you kicked me once. Well, it's just a tussle. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, leech up here. We're, I'm Probably just sit here until we eat. Yeah, it's gonna be dinner time soon. We're gonna have one of Mark's uh, meals that he made ahead of time. I'm excited for that. So here we go. We got some uh, beef and bean burrito going. So you fill it up just waterline, just above the food, and then you bring it to a boil and you put it in a cozy keep it warm for a while for about 20 minutes and we're good to go so hopefully ryan likes it i tried it uh i tested it out i thought it was great all right we'll see how it goes mark you have really outdone yourself how's it look it looks fan it, well i had a little sample of it and i really i take back almost all the bad <laughs> things i've said about you because beef and bean burrito here on the shores of of our beautiful little uh solitude lake gorgeous well it's not even sunset yet it's a just a nice creeping into dusk 520 tabasco this has sour cream in it no i did not put sour cream, no sour cream in i it. thought i had but uh i made it before i got the powdered sour cream but... well it tastes like it has sour cream good in it. great so good can't okay. wait can't wait nice job yeah, you'd never know that this was cooked, dehydrated, then rehydrated. It just tastes like a regular burrito you'd make at home. It's fantastic. Yeah, well, uh, Hungry Hammock Hanger. I will uh, put his uh, link on the video here. You can go check it out. He's got a bunch of recipes. I still got some left. Oh, yummy. Just got done with a fantastic beef and bean burrito dinner Mark made at home and dehydrated. 
and then we cut up another couple down trees that we found cut and quartered now we're just taking a few minutes to relax here before we head out for the evening bite here on uh, is it Sunday night day two evening Monday, Monday night day two morning so we're hoping to hit them tonight because we didn't have much luck today and well, we just catch that one just the one walleye you caught <laughs> but we got a nice clean campsite so we got everything kind of stored away for the evening so we can kind of stay out as late as we want to yeah we gotta remember our headlamps yep headlamps and then we'll come back in Flowers. and enjoy the the wood that we harvested Gorgeous evening. The wind is completely shifted now out of the north, northwest. Did you get our chorus? Or Johnny Cash? No, sorry. We were just singing Johnny Cash. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to hit the northeast side here and kind of work our way from where we've had success at this time of night, not far from our campsite and then just work the north end and we'll end up on our hot rock here for the late night bite. And uh, try to get the live well, well not full, but at least enough for dinner for tomorrow. We gotta catch, we gotta get at least two. I think we'll get a lot more than that tonight, but we gotta get at least two. So, what's happening, Mark? <laughs> He's got a walleye on. What are you doing? My my bobber got tangled, so I couldn't reel in my line. Do you still, do you still have a fish on? Huh? No. What? No. What? No. God, I hate you. Look at this. I got the net ready and everything. No, he left. <laughs> he said, "Screw this. I'm out of here." So we just moved here to the inlet. We've never fished here before. It's very shallow. Mark's got his uh, bobber set at five feet and first cast, what, 10 seconds? How about that? And uh, caught a nice little keeper walleye. Small, but keeper. Small keeper. Hold her up. Nice job. Come up though. Oh, big bass. I gotta get him. You know where you got him? Upper lip. That's right, buddy. What was yours? Uh, mine was. 17? That's what you said. I thought you meant the fish I had on, which snapped my line. Oh, it did? Yep. Fifteen and a half. Nice. No, I don't need it. It's fine. Throw it. Throw it in. I'm just showing the camera. Oh, I, it's, I'm not on. I am. Oh. <laughs> I'm hooked on this. Oh, my God. <laughs> what you got? It's a bass, but... <laughs> He was pulling drag like right when I set the hook. Woo. Hold them up so we can see it. He ain't tired yet. Dragging weeds and everything. He's 
He's PO'd. Nice fish. That's a really nice bass. Nice bass. That's delicious bass. What are you, Napoleon Dynamite? Oh, he ain't big as, the, as big as the last one, but he fought. No, but hold it up so you can see it better. Nice. Nice job. Well, that was not, it was too long to be a bass. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Northern? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, get that snot rocket. <laughs> Hang it up, hold it up, hold it up. <laughs> oh, I don't know if they, I don't know if they can see this. Hold up. See that thing? That's a hog. Oh. <laughs> He's like reeling it in saying, uh, this is just too, <laughs> boom. Too, too shallow. Too shallow. Oh, that's, let's measure that sucker. That's a nice fish too. Sixteen and a half. Yep. Sixteen and a half. Nice. Good job, Ray. Hey, hey, hold on. Over your white shirt. <laughs> like every other one. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening. My friend Ryan is in the back. Hi. We are sitting back in a quiet little area. It is really nice. We are looking... Um, we're facing south. <laughs> okay, we're facing south. You're looking north, but we're facing south. And probably 15 feet from shore. So I see reeds and then I'm 10 feet deep and I'm only five feet away from these reeds. I think we're gonna hit some fish here. Uh, Non-smallies. I agree. Right? Yep, I'm going deeper right now. I was at five feet because I was trying to get right in on shore, but I'm gonna go deeper and put out where you are. Okay, that's a good plan. Yeah, go. Uh, I think I'm like 10. You go 15 and kind of go to my right. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. <laughs> so we will uh, check back when we're catching some fish. Or at the campfire. I just got done going to the bathroom. <laughs> no. That's a little guy. Oh, man. We're just catching the little guys here. Uh, I don't know. Little, little or shoulders? Is it a bass? Feels like a bass. It's northern. A northern. <laughs> nice. Good job, bud. Thanks. Look at these slimy <clears throat> snot rockets. They're attracted to the pee. <laughs> you took out some of his lung. His I, gill. I ain't fine. That's right in the lip. Huh. Side right, lip. Right in the lip. Side lip. We throw all the side lips back. Yeah, we don't, we don't keep the side lips. A keeper. Good. We need I'm them. not jumping in. <laughs> well, get the no, the net's in the boat. Right. Pull them up on shore. Nice job, Mark. All right. First cast. Yeah. Well, where'd you get it? I don't know. Somewhere in the region of the upper nip, upper lip. <laughs> you were going to say nipple. <laughs> upper nipple. <laughs> we're just doing an ultrathon test. So we're out here on the hot rock, and Mark and I are covered only in ultrathon, and there are mosquitoes everywhere. 
Everywhere. Everywhere. You, have you had one land on you yet? Not really. They keep like a few would bump okay, me. Okay, the head. sit still once. I can see. Yep, I can see them all around you. <laughs> They're everywhere, dude. They are crazy. They're I'm, not. I'm not getting bit. What's crazy is that we're yeah. on a <laughs> 10, 10 square yard deal. Oh, my bobber. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see it. <clears throat> and there's a hundred yards between this and water. What are they doing here? They're here for you. I, they're, they're, what are they waiting for? Did they did they, they come from the shore? Where did they come from? They heard us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> on the video on the video, I'll just, you won't even hear us talking, it'll just be <laughs> So uh we only cut the one walleye, we just couldn't stand the bugs anymore. Ultrathon actually oh, worked good. You, Mark, you got two walleye. Oh, two walleye. But uh you know, the ultrathon worked really well. They were just relentless, though. Yeah, they were vicious. But but I honestly had a few land on me, and that was it. Yeah, and it's crazy. They all around us, but it was uh, ultrathon. <laughs> love what you do. Yeah, three M. But uh, the fire kind of. Looks good. We got some dry wood thanks to our hard working Ryan. He uh, said he's going to go pull it together. We got like, we could like just let this thing go for two days. Well, probably not. But. Hey, you cooked. Yeah. I cut wood. Well, that's how we roll, man. It's, it's, a, it's a team effort. It's a team effort. You cooked. I cut wood. Yeah. So we do it. Out here on the water. <laughs> you jumped in the lake. <laughs> I almost fell in the lake, but we didn't, we didn't have another video. My left foot is completely soaked. Because when I uh, was, when we were boarding to get off the Mosquito Island out there, uh, I had to take a quick short step, and yep, we got, so I'm going to have to disrobe a little bit here. And then I made the stupid mistake. Don't do this. Put your sweatshirt in. Because it's going to get cool out, you know. And so I had my sweatshirt and I stuck it underneath my seat. Yeah. Well, of course it's getting wet down there. I, I've known this for years. Everything we put down there... On the floor of the canoe gets it, wet. It always gets wet, of course. I I don't know. Proud of the wood or of Mark's food. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I wasn't thinking. Rookie. It was a, it was a rookie mistake for a 30 year veteran, and my shirt is now hanging, drying. You can't see it probably, but it's yeah. So I'm sitting in a t-shirt. I have other warm clothes, but I don't need need it. Don't worry about it now, cause we got the nice warm fire. But that was a stupid mistake. Don't put stuff on the bottom of the canoe. She's a rager. Yeah. We worked hard for put, that wood. Yeah, put another log on there. No, okay. You got it. We, and this is even the split stuff. We got split stuff all... Look, look at that. Yeah. That pile of wood there. Oh, and that's just one of them. Wrist size. Yeah. <laughs> we got more than one of those bags. That's what you need to do, folks. So whoever's coming to the site after us, if we don't use yeah, that all... Uh, and we probably won't use it all. Lucky ducks. Yep. I'm gonna take my socks and shoes off now. Oh, please don't. <laughs> we went a little different route for uh, breakfast today. Mark took some uh, inventory of our supplies. So we got the food pack out and realized that we have eaten all of our <laughs> breakfast we brought. So nothing like stroking off in the morning, huh, Mark? <laughs> National Geographic going on now. Yeah. There's a, it's a bear 
<laughs> chasing a, a mountain lion. <laughs> <laughs> we know our stuff. <laughs> No, it's some. It's a it's a rabbit, obviously. If you, well, I, don't, I don't know how well Mark's you know, shooting you, that, but God, you know, and it flies. You know why the nature's came out today? Why the nature's came out <laughs> yeah, today? You know why? Because <laughs> I'm wearing my Steve Irwin shirt. Oh, he he are looking nice. Yeah. 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 So day two morning, we're out here uh, picking the fish up out of the live well that we caught last night. Mark had a couple of wallies that he caught. And as you can see, they're doing well, but what we've thought now, as we've done this for a couple years now, is that overnight is good. Beyond that, they start to, their skin and scales start to whiten, and those are usually the ones that we, that we eat then right away. So we've decided now to only keep them overnight in the, uh, in, in the live well. Pine Martin, I believe, is the animal that ran through the the camp chasing the rabbit that was bigger than it was. Um, Pine Martin. Fact check me on that. Hey, buddy. checking us out. Oh, he's way checking us out. Hey, do you do you have eggs over here or something? Yeah, we don't normally get them in that close. I mean, they come to the canoe that close, but not on land. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. And he'll he'll reemerge. He'll <laughs> he'll uh, reemerge in 8 seconds a thousand yards away. <laughs> they swim so fast. Well, he might be just tooling around here. Trying to look for leeches <laughs> on pink chick heads. He loves pink. They do though. They swim yeah. so fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. See? <laughs> there he is, way over there. So from here, all the way over there. They're a bunch. Of, you know what they are? They're a bunch of little Phelpses. Oh, you were fast swimming? Well, no, but Michael Phelps is. Oh, wah wah. Oh, we're Close. It's my father is Michael Phelps. Okay. Out here on the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not what we thought might happen today so far. Yeah. Or, uh, I'm, I'm soaking my feet. And I forgot my, uh, my, like the lounge chair because <laughs> I might as well just lounge. Yeah. And like your lazy boy. Like, well, like suntan, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, with this golden brown skin I've got. <laughs> you do have a bronze hue. Yeah, I, I could get a nice tan today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know. We're, we've been sitting here just chit-chatting, talking about old times, talking about new times, fun. Work. Talking about work, unfortunately. We'll change well, that. Mark's work. Yeah. I've been grilling him <laughs> and why he is not more successful than he is now. <laughs> Because he should be. Uh, I, I'm just. I apologize if this is, comes across as a compliment, but he's <laughs> he's he's smarter than he comes across. <laughs> and, and and seen. So here we are, as every good clip starts, just a delicious Monday night, it's Monday right? Tuesday. Tuesday night, walleye fry, potatoes Mark cooked up for us, mm. it's plenty hot, but oh man is that good, and a gorgeous night too. Hopefully we'll catch some tonight. Yeah, we'll go back out after dinner here. We'll do some dishes up quick, and uh, we get what time is it? Uh, it's probably early. it's early. Yeah, Four it's early. Four o'clock. We're eating early so we can get out and get the full night bite tonight. And we'll come back and 
have ourselves a nice campfire. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. So we got done with dinner. Uh, each of us took a little rest. I napped while Mark made dinner and then he took a rest while I did dishes. And we kind of shored up camp and now we're heading back out for the night bite here. Our live well is now empty. We've eaten all of our fish. So we are in need of restocking. What do you think, Mark? Yeah, definitely need to catch some. He says, definitely need to catch some. Thumbs up, thumbs down, what are you feeling? I don't know. He's not optimistic, but he's kind of like that, often. <laughs> so, we'll check back once we get, we're gonna go, we're go ahead straight to the Hot Rock. That's our first stop of the night. Yesterday, and, and often it's our, well, not often, but yesterday was our last stop. Tonight's the first stop. So we'll see how she goes out here on the water. Hey, ready to go. Let's do it. First cast. What do you got, Mark? Bring here, I got it. Keep it down. Keep it down. There's other fisher people around. and also looked and my bobber was down and we caught a nice little eater. Did you line step? Yep. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I probably got him. Be real. Yeah. Nice upper lip. Good job, bud. I hate them. Camp shoes. They float. So do dead fish. Again. Oh, it's fighting. It's probably a bass then, right? No, it's a walleye. Northern? No, it's a, it's a walleye. Nice. Thank you. Gosh, why do we keep catching them in the upper lip? I don't know, Mark. Every time it's right in that, in this spot right here. Move your hand. Nice. Hold on. Move your hand. Oh, move your hand. I gotta took a couple pictures. Maybe we'll put those up on the on the page. Maybe I'll ha I'll, I'll delete this one. Uh, Ryan doesn't have a shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> he missed his back. <laughs> Some sunscreen. <laughs> Apparently his arms don't <laughs> his arms don't go all the way to his back. Can you? Uh, yeah. 
Uh, signing off. Uh, my foot is wet, Mark. Yeah. Well, as you were undoing the stringer, <laughs> the fish. Cause I, I, my back was turned. Ooh, did you cut yourself? I didn't. The goddamn fish did. His tooth? No, it's Gil. Uh, so he, play it? Yeah. he cut me. So I, I dropped it, and he skitters down here. So what do I do? You, you. I went after it. Yeah. You went so, after. It. So I go down, and I skid in down to about here, scoop him back out again, and then we we got him hooked. So. Well. <laughs> so you're not the only one. <laughs> We're this, all in, bud. This stuff's serious. <laughs> out here in the water. Hey, Mark. Pret yeah. Pretend you're fishing. This video I'm taking right now is so pretty. If we could crop you out of it, it's. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I thought you were taking a picture. <laughs> the south wind has not stopped like the entire trip. Yeah. Other than yesterday, it came out of the west for a little bit. Or was that earlier today? I slept for a little bit today. I don't um, yeah, just, it was like most of the, in the morning there was no wind and then it started coming out of the every, west. Every morning has been nice, gorgeous. And then, well, I guess and then it, that's not a complete truth because I remember sitting in the hammock saying, gosh, it's windy. But then by the time we rolled out of bed, it was, Noon. Yeah. <laughs> the time we rolled out of bed, it was way past due. Yeah. It wasn't noon. That's a, that was just being funny. Mm, it was trying. like 11.15. I wonder if they, you know. Can you hear us? Is it, is it on? <laughs> is this? <laughs> there, you got it. Oh, now it's dark. But now you screwed it up. Anyway. So we've been sitting here uh, fishing. We got three on the stringer. I haven't had much action in the last like half hour or so, but uh, we're gonna. This is so dark. Well, it's, you got the light. There, I look good. That's all I care about. Well, Your face is dark. To, it's been sunny. <laughs> we're trying to block anyway. you off. Oh no, no, that we gotta turn a little bit though. There we okay. go. All right. Hi! <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we haven't caught a whole lot of fish uh, in the last 40 minutes or so. We've got three on the three on the stringer. Those will be delicious tomorrow. We had uh, a couple guys come through though. Three in a boat. Yeah. <laughs> we're like zipping. We, we haven't we haven't seen a thing all day, which at that time was true. Yeah, but before they got out of the And then as soon as yeah, <laughs> as soon as they were paddling by, Mark hooked into that first one, and yeah. then I caught two in a row right yeah, after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, so they're probably thinking we're non-truth tellers or alternate facts. Yeah, well, yeah. alternative facts. Yeah. Um, which. You do. You're an accountant. Yeah. Well, if I get creative, I go to jail. I can't really. <laughs> Good thing you're not that creative. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Mark, you know what that looks like? What? Skunked. No, oh, they were back here for a while. No, they were. They, I bet they did well. I bet they caught a lot of small bass. Mm -hmm. They said they were fit, just, we're just fishing for fun. Oh, okay. See ya. We told them where we're we're not. We told him where to go. Well. 
He just wants northerns and bass. Okay. Well, we gave please him the tips. Catch Pro them all. Pro <laughs> tips. Please, ca please catch them all. Yeah. And subscribe to Upper Lip. <laughs> what you got there, Mark? Looks like a fish. Got a net. I gotta, I gotta do everything. I'm eating. I'm eating a snack. We have not had a whole lot of luck with landing fish today. We what? Nice, nice, Mark. I got a net. I got a camera in my hand and a cliff bar in the other hand. Yeah. Here, let me put one on my toes. Where'd you get him? Look at that. Ryan, it's gonna go over this rock. Can you come over here? I'll just pull it right up here. <laughs> uh, he swallowed that. We were just talking about this. <laughs> now you can use your forceps. <laughs> Got him. So they talk about presentation. And we talk about presentation a lot <laughs> on, on our videos, okay? So, I've caught three <laughs> walleye tonight, all on the same leech. Look at the hook. And they look at the hook, and then and look at that leech. All three of them in the same one. Uh, what? Three hours apart. And look at how bent the hook is. <laughs> Did you even notice that? That's from you pulling That's, out of the last. I think that was the last, last one. one. Yeah, I don't think it was like that before. But but look at that leech. And he... He's seen better days. But he's got three fish. Three of them. Three walleye. Good we job, just, We let the last one go. But we did get it out. Yeah. And he swam away, and Probably. life is good. All right. We might be heading in uh, pretty soon. Just uh, a couple last, more casts. A couple more casts. Last night, the bugs kind of killed us over here, and the wind is starting to die down. I thought if maybe the wind stayed... A little more consistent, we wouldn't have the bug problem, but I think they're gonna. I don't know where they are hiding out. <laughs> I mean, how do they? How do they get over here? What? What? Do they see us from the yes, shore? And they're like, sitting on shore. And they're like, yeah. They're like I hate sharks. Oh, well, there's sharks. I'm gonna come and get them. <laughs> they're so sweet. Well, they don't bug me. They don't bug. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Out here on the water. How we doing? I can't see you. Hey, how we doing? You know what I'm doing right now? I'm putting my left shoe back on, even though it's still soaking wet from jumping in the lake, like Mark did. He is. Uh, I'm a uh, pioneer. Well, you're you're a pioneer. You're older than I am, not by much, but but I look up to you, and I saw you jump in after a walleye. So as I almost lost a walleye. I jumped in after it. Uh, the difference is I'm younger enough that I actually saved mine. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Mellow. It. Sprinkling. 1026. We had, uh, Beef and bean burritos for breakfast. Yeah, that would be good. And a PB&J. Yeah. Some coffee. We're having a little fire. About a gallon of water. Yeah. Uh, it's overcast, starting to sprinkle a little bit. Um, we're going to go fishing. Yep. It's our last full day. We are not going to spend it sitting underneath this tarp. So we got our ring gear on. Yep. And uh, we're going to head out and hopefully catch some fish. So we'll see you out there. Okay, I'll be there.
It is raining out. Has been all morning. Nature's man. Yep. But uh, we're not gonna let it ruin our last day. No. Or at least the first few hours of our last day. It still starts in the uh, We may get sick of this at some point. But right now it's fine. We're just a couple gals hanging on the island here, <laughs> fishing. Trying to catch a, catch a bite. Yep. The live well is looking great. The fish were very lively. There's four of them there. Yeah. So depending on what we do here for meals today, we'll, we'll likely eat them. But if we if we cook into some, maybe we'll clean them all and take them home. I don't know. You still got a couple of meals left that you made. Oh, we still got meat. Here's some fish. We'll catch fish. We're not standing out in this crap not catching anything. <laughs> might have other plans, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. All right. Well, we might move here in a little Yeah, bit. We probably will. After we, uh, after the, the bites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Killing them so far. Out here on the water. <laughs> so I don't know if you can hear me, but the, the heavy stuff isn't going to come down for quite some time now, but it's getting windy, that rain Drops are getting heavier, and that's a cold wind. Woo. We've had worse. For sure. to our uh, safe place here. We made it back to our safe place here. <laughs> Which we've had luck in the past in these conditions, well, in, in many conditions, but certainly in these types of rainy and windy conditions. So we're out of the wind, we're anchored. We'll give this a try for a while. Mark's got his fingers crossed. Uh, if we hook into him, great. If not, we have lots of dry firewood and a tarp. And we could go sit there. We, I mean, this is fine. We'll sit there or sit here. Right. right. So we're out of the wind. So we'll sit here for a while, I'm guessing. Yeah. I don't. We have our food pack with us. Yeah, we have food. Uh, just so you guys know, we always bring our food pack every time we leave. Right. We bring it with us. Yep, we bring it with us. We don't have to hang it. We don't have to do anything with it. We just bring it with us. And then, um, and then we do night, leave. We put the codlin bells. We do leave Subway sandwiches for the bears, though. Uh, shout out Tumble Home Podcast. You gotta listen to that. <laughs> funny. Uh, but uh, yeah, we always bring it with us, and um, that way we don't have to worry about hanging it or anybody sneaking into our camp when we're not there. Yeah, we'll check back hopefully when we've got one on. We're back in our bay here still the rain has stopped the wind has died down and it looks like we might have a, a nice afternoon um mark do you want to just briefly uh tell the story of what happened last year when we were sitting here oh with my paddle yes yes brief sure. briefly we had to because we're going to segue into something else that just happened i had to go to the bathroom we canoed over to a campsite i went to the bathroom and when we came back out here i and we decided to leave i realized my canoe or my paddle was on shore and we had been joking all week about being up schmidt creek yeah and then you lost the paddle so that made it really funny yeah and then now what happened i just <laughs> 
drop my rod in the water. It started to sink, and I panicked, and I went down into it, and I, I actually caught it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that was so crazy. First thing you caught all day? <laughs> all right, that wasn't as good as the, the breakfast one. The breakfast one? The stroganoff. <laughs> that was funny. Turkey vulture? We've got a loon nearby. He is fishing, and I'm guessing he's probably having better luck than we are. We haven't caught anything yet. I had one bobber down, and Mark got a snag. But well, I, had, I had a little bobber down. He had a little bobber down, too. Look but at him. Look at him. No, he's right here. He's been right by us for the last half hour or so. Calling to us. What did you find there, a little minnow? Maybe a walleye fry. <laughs> Is it big enough to eat? So, still back in the bay. It, the rain stopped. Now it's sprinkling again. But the sun's trying to peek through. So, Mark and I are both very optimistic that we will have a nice afternoon. Yeah, I think it's going to break up. I think it's going to feel good. Feel, I already feel some warm. Coming. Yeah, it's warmed up. Yeah, we've got uh, a couple bobbers in the water. Yeah, it's either sitting here or sitting in camp. Life is good. Out here on the water. Well, we struck out, Mark. Swing him. So we're heading in now, uh, grab some lunch. Maybe. Uh, Talked about maybe going for a little stroll in the woods, kind of check out some of the terrain. Other than that, uh, dry up a little bit, the rain stopped again, and uh, head back out this afternoon. How's that sound? Chili and rice, or rice with chili probably is the way I mixed it. <laughs> Two forty-five. Yeah. Got Been. done with our chili, cleaned up that, pumped some water. Now we're out fishing again. And the uh, chili and rice was good. We had a lot. A of lot it, of it. I made a lot of it, thinking we would be hungry one day. And I was hungry. You ate a lot. I ate a lot. So back out here on the hot rock. Uh, probably not our last time out here to today, but. One of, probably yep. second to last. Now yeah, we might come up back out here again at dusk if we'll see how we do. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take my boots off because I am soaked from here down. Yeah, I'm wet too. I should too. All right, we'll check back back in. Hopefully, setting the hook right now. Spot gets some bass, doesn't it? Good fighter. Oh, snap my line. Oh no! Story of your trip, that line. Yes, he's in his underwear. <laughs> Pants are wet. Mark's got one on. That's the biggest one of the trip, yeah, boy. Yeah, such a nice fish. Oh, he's got some weight. Yep, he's beefy. We'll have to measure him. Nice That's catch. Too. Nice catch. Thanks, man. Right where I was, what, five minutes ago? Yeah. And had that bass snap my line. 
Nice job. We have been on the hot rock all afternoon uh, with very little success. Mark caught the really nice walleye. I had a big bass jump and then my line snapped. Yep. That's pretty much it. Not too much action out here, so we're gonna uh, hit the North End Island, get out of the wind a little bit, uh, as has been the case every day. Uh, it's, well, it started out in the east, but now it's south wind, strong south wind again. So we got down to the bare feet and let our boots and socks and stuff dry. My pants are finally dry. So back in business now, so we're just gonna get out of the wind and hopefully get, get a few more. Uh, we decided not to have a final fish fry tonight. Instead, we're going to clean what we've got and bring it home. Yep. Let the, uh, let the family enjoy some northern Minnesota walleye. So, we'll check in on the other end on that first big hook set. Right. What do you think? Yeah. All right. All right. Time battening down the hatches yep. and finishing our last cocktail. Yep. And uh, uh, kind of get ready to shove off in the morning and head home. Unfortunately. That'll be it. Can't believe it. This last day, so Starks and Phelps. I know. Except you caught one nice big fat boy here. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a real nice fish. So that's un that's uncharacteristic of us <laughs> on the last day. Yeah. All right, so we'll check back hopefully with some hook sets. There we go, Mark. I think it's a bass. It's not very big, whatever it is. Oh, it's a walleye. Good. I got a net. Nice job, buddy. Yep. I'll just take care of that. You got the stringer down there. No, no, I'm just showing, I'm showing the camera. Oh, okay. Yep. There we go. Hope the other one doesn't need it. Well, Mark caught the one, and now it's raining again, so we are done getting wet for the day, so we're just going to head in. We've got uh, half a limit. Yep. We're gonna to lay them up, bring them home. Go spend a nice evening under the tarp by the fire. Tell stories about the trip, laugh, reminisce. And that's it. So fishing on this trip is over. Out here on the water. We are breaking down camp tonight. I uh, got the fire going, thermocell is going, the mosquitoes looked bad, but uh, I think the thermocell must be kicking oh, in yeah, in the fire. So Mark's finishing off the very last, we timed it out perfectly, Mark. The last bit into our last uh, our last night of, of drinks. Oh, yep. So we, Drink. did, we did it. We didn't <laughs> run out. <laughs> so we're going to continue to basically... Try to get everything we can packed tonight that we know we won't use tomorrow morning. Um, and then everything else will go in the other pack in the morning. And uh, and that's it. So coming up, tails by the fire. And it will be a good one. don't think we're getting the weather from the south. Oh. What do you think, Ry? I think that we're going to have a nice night, that it will uh, 
probably give us a little more weather, although you maybe just pointed this yeah. out. It looks really pretty down here. Yeah, on the south? Yeah. yeah. I haven't stepped out from beneath the tarp here for a half hour, so I'm high from smoke. <laughs> what are we oh, burning? <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? I was telling Mark, I probably look like a, just a grease ball. I was just combing my hair with a pork chop a minute ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was telling Mark that had he not told me that today was our last day this morning when I got up, yeah. I was convinced yeah. that we had another day. This trip has gone by so, so fast. fast. Uh, it's been a wonderful trip. We've had such uh, good luck fishing. Not as many as we normally do, but but it's been fairly consistent other than a couple of dry spells. Yeah. But we have we had enough to eat, and we're bringing some home, which we don't often get to do because right. we usually get our asses handed, butts handed to us on the uh, last day. Can I say asses, or should I say butts there? We could edit that part out. We. <laughs> Um, so, but not, not with that said, I'm ready to go home. Yeah. Have a nice night here by the fire and, uh, chit chat, have fun. Look back on some of these videos that, that we're kind of doing right now and, uh, pack up and go. I'm ready for some Northwoods Cafe breakfast tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're and not going to skip it this year. We're not skipping it this year. Yeah. And then, uh, I got three little kids at home that are, uh, gonna be excited to see me you've got two we've got a couple gals that'll probably not be as excited to see us but still be excited no yeah. they'll, they'll be very uh, happy we're home too and yeah wonderful trip well, I'm sure we'll do more of this yet tonight but awesome good stuff yeah <laughs> they say it might rain tonight I don't know what do you what do you think there's a chance. It looks like it might. I don't know. I don't think they know what they're talking about. <laughs> Just pouring off the tarp. But we're dry under here. Got the fire going. Telling tales of our trip. Having a good time. Yeah. Last night. Last night of the trip, and uh, 8:30. It's 8:30 with the with the weather the way it is right now. I'm ready. I'm ready to pack up in the morning and head out. Just hope it's not like this in the morning. No, that wouldn't be good. Get it out tonight. It's good sleeping weather. Good sleeping weather. So we're gonna uh, we got our wood that we labored over, and we're gonna burn up. A fair amount of it. Look at that, we're even getting puddles right next to the campfire here. So we'll enjoy our uh, last night at camp here. Pack her up, head them up, move them out. <laughs> so the rain stopped. Look at this. We got like a little stream going down here. Uh, up here it's worse there's pools by my tent yeah brian's gonna be floating good thing we got the thermarest we'll keep you afloat <laughs> thanks but look at this look at that that is a gorgeous sunset beautiful yeah that's why we do it mark it's not for everybody it certainly is for us just talking about the kids, our kids. Can't wait to introduce them to this. Yep. <clears throat> They'll come up one time, never again. Oh, they'll love it. Yeah. They'll absolutely love it. Looks like it might be clearing up, huh? Yeah, thank God. Yeah, tomorrow would be a, if it was raining like that. Be tough. Yep. We're tough. We are tough. Oh, I'm thinking about hash browns, sausage. Yep. Pancake. Uh, yeah. Without having to, to like boil water <laughs> stuff. They actually serve their water yeah. with ice in it. This is crazy. It's got ice cubes in it. The, uh, the coffee. Yeah. They pour it for you. 
Mm -hmm. It's if you want cream, you can get cream. That's crazy. It's cra yeah, restaurants. But I'm gonna tell you, we ate pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's just more where we gotta cook it ourselves. Right. And Although awesome. nowadays it's, you know, you boil water. I mean, it's not to oversell it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. All right, right. Let's do this. The final dousing of the 2018 BWCA trip. Fire is going out. Remember, you got to stick your hand in there to make sure it's cool. Right, like the video? Yeah. We have camp completely broken down and packed up. There's Mark's hammock. There's the tent as you can see yeah we got the fish clean this morning so those are all packed with skin on ready to bring home for the family left a little bit of firewood not as much as we normally do I guess we burned more last night than uh, I guess I was expecting but uh, Other than firewood and some uh, spots where our tents were, I think we successfully left no trace. I think so. Oh, what's this? That might even be ours. It is. Now we've left no trace. Except for firewood, huh? Right, as I said. Oh, except, okay. except for the firewood. But uh, forward, other than that... Uh, a couple pieces of wood. Yeah. Couple pieces of wood. Yep. So we're all set. We're going to throw the packs in the canoe. Yeah. And we're out. We should be uh, in the car, what, 930? Yeah. 715 now. If we haul. So we are all loaded up and ready to shove off. So like I said, hopefully we'll uh, be in the car 930 heading to the Northwoods Cafe, Silver Bay, Minnesota. So we say farewell to Burnt. As usual, she treated us very well, didn't she, Mark? She did, again. Again. So, we'll hit the lake here and be home before we know it. Out here, on the water. First portage back home. Made it across in 20 minutes. And, uh... With all the rain we've had, we're thinking these portages are a huge puddle. They were pretty muddy on the way in. We're thinking it could be real muddy on the way out. So we'll see. So far they are. I don't know how the packs feel heavier now. They do. Just got back in the sawbill. Ryan went back for the last pack while I got the canoe all loaded up. We're, uh, so he just has to drop it in and we'll get in the canoe and on the home stretch. So it's been a good trip. Uh, not as many fish as we'd like and um, but for the most part it was good we had a good conversation and all that stuff um, but boy I'm hungry we didn't have breakfast so we're gonna go hit the Northwoods cafe and get some good eats I gotta clean up first probably a little ripe I'm sure Out here on the water. Last portage. Last portage, there it is. I got some folks. Yeah, ready? Yeah, let's do it. Well, we 
made it. We made it. It's about an hour later than we first had hoped, mainly because we had to get our fish, go search for the fish. Search for the fish. We had to um, clean, clean the fish. That takes yeah, time. Clean the fish, and it was raining. Uh, the actual when we started moving, we went pretty good, yeah, but we uh, uh, then we had to, and I had to wash up a little bit and whatever. So now we're gonna be on the way. But 10 o'clock, yeah. still pretty good. <sighs> we're here, we made it. Hot coffee, oh. ice cold water. So. I just washed my hands <laughs> with running water that was hot. It came out of the tap hot and yeah, I had no. soap. You have to start a fire to make it hot? Nope. Nope, it was great. Uh, still a very swanky place as it was uh, what they changed over like two, three years ago. Yeah. So, uh, when we ordered our food, we were ready to go. Yep, yeah, the texts text came rolling in as soon as we turned the phones on, so lots of people to get back to, but I'm going to wait till later, other than the important ones. Pretty good. So good. Yeah. So good. I wonder how long it took them to rehydrate this. I know. It's crazy. It we, like, just, they, they boil, boiling water over it, cover it, <laughs> and boom.